What's going on YouTube, GSN8 here, so in today's video we're discussing about the Osiris jailbreak for iOS 12, and boy am I excited to talk about this jailbreak since this one is actually my own jailbreak. Now I've been working on this for quite a while, and if you're following my Twitter, which is this one in here, GSNL at FC365, you probably know that I've been keeping you posted with anything that's going on with the Osiris, with what I'm planning to add and what I'm planning to remove, and what I'm changing and stuff like that. Now in this video I'm going to talk about what is the future for the Osiris jailbreak, whether it's going to become public and stuff like that, and what you can do with it, and I'm going to demonstrate what you can do for the moment, at least parts of it, so that you can see how it works. Now, for those of you who are interested, this is going to be available on GitHub as Osiris Jailbreak 12. For the moment, this is private since I'm working on it, but I'm going to make it available, and it's going to be documented so that you can understand how the code works and what it does. Maybe if you're interested in building your own jailbreak one day, so that may help. Now, for those of you who do not know, I started the Osiris project back in iOS 11, so it's definitely not a new project for me. In fact, this one has been the first jailbreak for the iOS 11, however, people don't exactly use it because it doesn't have Cydia and it doesn't have Tweak Injection. It was more of a developer jailbreak, which provides you with developer tools, but not exactly with the tools that most of the people want. Now, this website is the old one and I'm going to update it for iOS 12, but I'm currently building for the iOS 12 and I'm actively building it and, you know, coding it and stuff like that. And let me show you exactly what it does. In fact, I'm going to show you one of the components of it that is basically the SSH. Now, it's still going to be focused a little bit around the development idea, but I'm planning to even add a package manager. But yeah, it's going to support tweaks and it's going to support a package manager later. But hint, no, it's not Cydia. Cydia is unfortunately outdated and there is really no point into investing time into trying to make it work since Sorik himself wishes that people would forget about Cydia, so there is no point into integrating it now. I'm sticking with open source stuff. And of course, even though Cydia is open source, it's no longer maintained, so yeah, that's basically it. Now let me show you actually how I connect to this device through SSH. It's running the Osiris jailbreak, and all I have to do is to basically connect via SSH, and there you go. Now when you connect, it's going to post this Osiris jailbreak message in here. You can remove it if you don't want to see it every single time by simply doing rm atc mod d, and that would be it. But as you can see, it's not even using bash. It's using something else. This one is called ZSH, and it's much, much better in my opinion than bash because this one also has colors for some of the folders and files and stuff like that. Now, since the Osiris jailbreak was made with the idea of development in mind so that it can be used by a developer, for example, it has all the binaries that you can imagine from the Unix systems, and that is a pretty long list in my opinion, and it also has JTool. Now, why is this important? Well, if you're a developer, you can actually disassemble stuff in real time here on iOS without having to move back and forth to the computer. This is a feature that I was able to implement thanks to Jonathan Levin and his binary pack. And for example, if I want to disassemble something here on the device, I can do so. I can write JTool, I can do minus D, and in here I can specify the binary, for example, Osiris JB and bin bag. And as you can see, I'm able to basically disassemble the whole thing in here without even having to move to a computer. So it does have a lot of tools that you can use for development and stuff like that. But enough of this SSH stuff, let me show you the package manager and of course the other functions. For example, one of the things that it will install by default is FileZap, it's the file manager in here. And of course you can do whatever you want, you can edit your files and stuff like that. There is full system access and that is actually good. And then there is the package manager, which is basically Siley by Laker. I'm gonna put his link on Twitter and it looks like this. Now this is actually pretty damn good and you can see here I have all my sources, for example the uh, big boss, this thing in here uh, does move around, I'm going to show you what it is later, and you have the big boss, the Bigner repo, Cherry, Spark Dev and so on, you can add repos by pressing add in here. It works very very similarly to Cydia, but it's modern, it's new, it works better, and of course it will be open source, currently it's in development, so I received this uh, beta, but this is actually private, and and, um, for example, if you go here on Nepeta, you can see the tweaks that are available, and you press on a tweak, for example, Serene, 
and stuff like that and you see the uh, depiction of the tweak and all that jazz you press get and that's basically it it's going to put it in in the uh, queue and you can install it however as i said this is actually very important because the package manager will not be the standard cdia this one will be the package manager if everything goes okay on laker's side with development and this button in here currently everything is in chinese but there will be a translation and here you can find various utilities directly into the uh, package manager and you just activate it by pressing on this orb in here which i believe is pretty nice so yeah this is going to be the uh, package manager for the osiris jailbreak i think it's definitely looking nice and in my opinion is going to be pretty nice so i'm going to search for example for falza and you can see that i can find falza in there so yeah in my opinion this is going to be a pretty interesting jailbreak i built this one because i want to learn a lot and i have learned a lot by building osiris and i'm continuing to learn quite a lot by continuing to build it so yeah thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to stay updated i am gia snow until the next time peace out